and welcome everybody to our first session of uh, our new uh, campaign uh, using the system not the end uh, narrative driven uh, rpg uh, this is uh, will be a, a short campaign called not the monsters where our players will be playing monsters uh, which are not the, the bad guys though uh, uh, if you are interested about the setting that we are about to play in, uh, there is a session zero where uh, we um, make uh, the characters and we actually make the setting because making the setting is part of the fun in not the end. You can find uh, in the previous episode of this session zero where we explain uh, the type of setting we are going to play in and we build uh, our characters. A few uh, differences will be found between the characters that were proposed last time and the ones right now, but the, the core of them uh, remain the same. Uh, with me are uh, Marco, Arturo, hi everyone, and Vincenzo. Hi everybody. I am Fabio, and uh, let's begin, shall we? Yeah, let's go. Sure. It is an early morning in the late spring in the Etruvian Empire. The Etruvian Empire is uh, used to be a small nation. But then, a few centuries ago, it acquired more and more power, more and more land, as uh, uh, the, the humanity kept civilizing, kept uh, creating new machines, creating gunpowder, creating uh, the steam engine, and many other technological marvels that allowed them to uh, grow in size uh, and in power. There is uh, very little room is left for, for monsters in today's world. The, the times, the centuries ago, where adventurers were afraid to go into the forest because of uh, monsters uh, that dwell there are long gone. Uh, right now, the, the few monsters that remain that are not exploited, hunted and uh, used by humans as a source of arcane energy hide in whatever corner of the world is still able to, uh, to hide them, to, whenever they can find a human of, a, of good heart that uh, gives them shelter or, keep, or keeps them hidden from uh, the army of, of the Etruvian Empire. The Etruvian Empire is uh, largely a seafaring one. Uh, it has uh, a lot of coastline and several colonies in uh, uh, faraway islands in the middle of the sea. You guys are all uh, living in uh, a small town, uh, a village basically, called Argos Bridge, uh, named after uh, the only feature of any importance that is nearby, that is this, uh, this small bridge uh, over uh, a river that um, a few a few kilometers uh, downhill uh, goes into in, into the sea. Argos Bridge is this small village, but is nearby a large city which is called Belizea. It is Belizea is one of the largest and most prosperous cities of the Etruvian Empire. It is a port city. It is uh, the um, the headquarters of the navy. Of, uh, of the Etruvian Empire. It's not the capital, but it's definitely one of the most important city in, uh, in the whole empire. Life in Argos Bridge is pretty simple. There are uh, maybe 20 houses hosting no more than 100 people. Uh, there is a mill, there is a very small forge, uh, there are, uh, most people are farmers, and a few people, and there are a few artisans here and there. Some a shoemaker, maybe uh, mm -hmm. a roof uh, a thatcher and a uh, and roof maker, uh, but mostly there, there's farmers uh, uh, that feed uh, the. It's one of the many many villages that makes the the food that then goes into the city to supplement the the fish. Uh, to make to allow this large city to function with all the his uh, with all the professional figures that live in the city, uh, uh, not only artisans but a lot of, of military, and uh, also the the scientists and the people that uh, use 
both technology and uh, whatever magic they can steal from the, uh, the monsters that they capture to advance uh, the reach of the empire. Uh, you uh, have an alley in Argos village, the, the Leon family. The Leon family, uh, the, um, the head of the family is uh, the father, he's called, uh, he's, called Fra he's called Frank, and Frank has two, two, um, two twins that are uh, of uh, teenage, in their teenage years, Lucio and Lelia, uh, and uh, three other kids, smaller ones, uh, that all of them help him. He is one of the one of the farmers, and uh, he's the one that discovered my uh, you, you guys, and uh, he's giving you all the information that you need to avoid the army whenever they come into town. It is this morning, and uh, in the early morning, uh, usually uh, scuttling around in the forest nearby the, the house of the Leon family is Ketch. Who is Ketch? Uh, uh, Ketch is a, a very bulky figure uh, in this small town. Uh, is probably uh, one of the few monsters that uh, uh, are hosted in, vill in the village that everybody knows of the existence. Okay. <laughs> because uh, it's pretty difficult to miss. <laughs> but is also well uh, um, um, welcomed because he can treat animals uh, with a certain uh, uh, very soft touch. Animals uh, are very kind to him. So a few farmers actually are very happy when he passes around, uh, especially if they're trying, I don't know, to, to move like a mule that doesn't want to etc because there's this way with animals and nature in general it usually okay. scatters around in the morning around uh, the farm uh, uh, and uh, in the forest uh, is a troll of course so describe uh, describe catch yeah. so catch is uh, three and a half meter tall okay yeah uh, but it can be taller if he only wants to really stand up usually doesn't it goes around a bit curved. hunched, hunched uh, a bit hunched even because uh, <clears throat> uh now that he's hosted in uh, human houses he has to be very careful oh uh, yes because uh, he's made of stone uh, stones and dirt is uh, if he stops in a place and uh, close himself into a bowl he will be a boulder you don't okay. recognize that is okay, actually okay. Uh, a living creature. So, and uh, we can see on your uh, on your car on your uh, cluster of hexagons that uh, there are actually critters living inside you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, squirrels, uh, mice, uh, uh, probably like a uh, uh, hedgehog. Uh, <laughs> okay. I know them all by name. Uh, there are a couple of uh, bird nests. Uh, probably there is like uh, uh, bumblebees, uh, uh, hives. You name it, a lot of them. Okay. I love them, but uh, I can see that you are also fear fearsome. Uh, well, I'm, most I'm... most people in the village are scared of you. Then most some, of them some, are. some farmers uh, have, uh, are uh, are happy to hire you, but most people are scared. Absolutely, I'm I'm fearsome, uh, especially to the people that don't know me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and uh, due to the situation between monster and humans. Uh, catch learned how to use this uh, this quality to to keep humans at bay. Okay, okay. So, uh, what is what is catch doing this morning? Uh, catch this morning is not around because in one of his uh, uh, trips in the forest uh, a few days ago, discovered something um, strange and brought it back. And uh, with the help uh, of uh, uh, the Leon family, yes, uh, and uh, another monster friend, is trying to put it together. Is at the moment in the forge, hunched back uh, with uh, with uh, 
heavy uh, material that is passing to his friend that is working uh, hard in trying to put these things together again. Who is this friend? <clears throat> well, his friend is Heat, who he is, well, a living flame, so an elemental spirit of fire that can assume many forms, but usually in this village is just the part of the fireplace. So it's you can imagine it in the center of the square, maybe next to the to the to the well where people come when they need fire or um, anything else, and they can find it there. It's heat is it's usually warm to the people and it provides because it's it's providing fire and it's helping people usually. Most people are not afraid of him because, again, it's just of um, help in their everyday life. Most of the time, you don't even notice it because it's just just lying around. It's the, the flow of time is not that important or apparent to to heat. So if, if if nobody bothers you, you can pretty much stay in a fireplace for days and days. Uh, if Nothing comes yes, along. Yes. Okay. You wouldn't even know I'm, I'm there. But in the vill in the village, uh, do you help around, like lighting the <clears throat> lamp posts? Maybe uh, if I need it, if I'm needed, like for example, if the blacksmith need uh, you know something special because he has to to forge something particular, or yes, the lamp posts. Uh, if there's need special needs, I, I help around. Yes. Okay, okay. Like and uh, how are you helping uh, Cash today? What are, what are you guys doing? Well, maybe you can describe what you found, Cash. Yeah, I found uh, pieces of uh, an armor. Uh, they were like uh, shattered and, uh, and spread uh, uh, just beside uh, um, an opening in the forest. And when I approached to see what was this uh, alien thing, uh, a voice called me out, uh, and uh, it taunted me. <laughs> it was like a voice that was taunting me. At me. <laughs> and uh, I picked up all the pieces, and no bother about all this taunting, I brought it back to you. But uh, was there a j just an armor there? No, inside there were a lot of bones. Okay, right. so <laughs> so as uh, as heat uh, slowly melts the the armor and reforges it around these bones and, and catch with the help of his little critters uh, assembles the skeleton back together. Who comes back to life or to unlife? Maybe. One life, brother. Well, this is bones. Uh... It was not originally its name. Bones doesn't remember. Uh, there must have been a proper name in the past. However, thoughts and feelings and even its name faded away with time. Um, Bones uh, is a living skeleton of sorts. It's a skeletal warrior or wandering spirit or whatever you want to call it. It's one of those unfortunate souls that were not given the gift of death. Uh, rather keep keeping... Uh, living at um, what some may might consider an a natural form of uh, uh, semi existence. existence. Uh, however, someone else, for example, uh, the kind uh, huge troll goes by the name of cats, probably considered uh, this part of nature as well. So that's perhaps if why I was saved. However, long Continue, story short, I was just I was just very curious. Yeah, probably. That's 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 another way to put it. But yeah, long story short, uh, Bones used to be a, a warrior, probably. But sometime in the past, uh, Bones was or the, the person that now is called Bones uh, got killed in action. And since that day, uh, it kept uh, haunting the land and acting as a womb. Uh, what some may might uh, find familiar to. Uh, low-level enemies in other fantasy settings. So, <laughs> so a walking skeleton, dored in full plate armor, and most importantly, wielding 
uh, what Bones believed to be uh, its family sword or something that still um, holds a high importance in, in its known life, which is its sword. And uh, mm, uh, recently, though, uh, Bones was uh, uh, had a bad idea or the mm, bad luck of uh, getting into uh, in, engaging combat with someone that was equipped with gunpowder and did uh, resulting in a huge cannonball crushing on its full plate and devastating both the armor and the skeleton itself. And that was then uh, nothing for, for uh, some days, some weeks, nothing more than a pile of uh, bones uh, on the ground, uh, plus some twisted, melted metal around it, shouting profanities and taunting uh, whoever came, to, uh, came into distance, trying to challenge whoever came into distance. And uh, any bones was actually ignored by, by most people. Uh, some would uh, uh, probably escape while hearing a voice coming from what appeared to be a pile of bones. Others would just uh, you know, do their own thing, uh, probably taunting it back or something like that, until the day in which Catch found it, found it interesting maybe, and then decided to brought it to the forge in which uh, it's currently being uh, reforged in a sense. So you are very anachronistic right now, right? So uh, I... this is this is a world where uh, wars are fought with uh, cannons, with uh, infra uh, lines and lines of infantry armed with muskets and bayonets, and you basically are still a full plate a warrior dressed in full plate armor with uh, what kind of sword? That uh... um, mm, I'm going to say it's a. Uh something along the lines of a bastard sword so it's not a yes. two-handed sword not even a, it's something that can be used with both two hands or one hand or two sets of bones or one set of bones yeah. so it's uh, a bit rusty but still surprisingly sharp uh, there used to be um i think there used to be a gem in the tilt of the sword but it's been stolen or uh, or otherwise lost Ooh, in the okay. years okay okay um, it used to be an impressive weapon, probably, but it's definitely not been maintained uh, properly. So it's uh, it's just a matter of time before the rust probably gets the better of, of my sword and myself. You are just... the rest. Yes, sir. Pardon? Go, 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 go. I, ju I just wanted to say that Bones believes it used to be a human because the bone structure is, is such. However, there is no proof. The only proof of its uh, previous life is, this, is a, um, a symbol on the armor that bone wears all the time. Uh, it might be some sort of uh, family sigil or some kind of, uh, some kind of symbol from its previous life. Boss doesn't remember, it, uh, but it's the only thing that can be almost considered a name for, uh, for bones. Meaning that it's the only symbol that uh, that makes him makes it rather stand out when compared to another random walking skeleton, L like in some kind of dungeon. Yeah, L like the symbol for the artist for the artist formerly known as Prince. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that one. So um... now I want to change my character and be <laughs> in this one second in my life. That would be so awesome to be okay so, as. Uh... As soon as uh, the skull snaps into place uh, on uh, on the spine of bones, uh, and you feel whole for the first time, uh, Li Lilia Lilia Leon, this uh, this girl, this uh, fifteen year old girl uh, with freckles and uh, uh, hair cropped short, that uh, always runs around and is already someone who helps a lot around the house. Uh, she and her brother uh, Lucio are the the ones doing most of the heavy work because their father Frank uh, is getting a little bit old and uh, cannot mm -hmm. cannot uh, really um, keep up with the rhythm that is required uh, from the army to feed uh, all the mouths, all the soldiers in the, in the city. And um, Lilia comes uh, comes into the forge and asks, "Catch, catch!" Who is this? 
Is this someone new? Uh, I don't know, little one. Uh, let me check. Uh, I will cover your ears if I were you. Last time <laughs> when I met him, it was full of profanity. I wouldn't like him to do it again. Skook! <laughs> and I put it back and I release the, the, uh, the mouth for you to oh, start to talk. It, it cannot be worse than whatever Lucio says to me every day in the fields. <clears throat> I don't want to know that. <laughs> And there's this figure in, on top of your bones that is massive. I mean, uh, my face is as big as your torso, okay? okay? And it's looking at you like from the top like this. And it just releases your tiny mouth like, How are you? I am. That's how I am. <laughs> I turn to him. This is another one of your kind. I am, I've been, I'll always be. Doesn't look like. No, no hopefully next, next, next to it, you see, now I'm looking like a fire humanoid, more or less. Mm. Yeah, this is cold. And I poke you on the head <laughs> with my massive finger. Tum, tum, tum. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, Do you I, have I, a name? I, I think I'm... Uh, I'm avoiding any profanity, not only because there is a, a child, but also because I'm. I understand that I I owe my uh, the the privilege to continue my mission <clears throat> to you, good sir, and to you, good uh, fiery entity. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I did introduce myself, and uh, a squirrel comes on my head. That's uh, the <laughs> goodest of you. Yeah. The small head. My name is Kach. And then, I, I don't know if you can move yet, because I'm holding you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I well, turn no. your head to one hit. Okay. <laughs> then, and this one is hit. And then I turn it back to one me. And this one is a squirrel. It is my pleasure to meet you. But do you this one goes name? by the name Bones. Ah, easy to remember. And what is the mission that you mentioned? Uh, well, maybe he can move. Can you oh, try? I didn't ask. I I'm try. sorry, Bones. Can you walk and help uh, you up? <laughs> I could. There is one minor detail to fix, however. Uh, see, these are my legs. And I like, instead of my arms, I have. <laughs> sorry, my... No, just aside. My mission is uh, going home. A majestic creature of fire. Uh, I need to fulfill my duty and return. And uh, the little girl elbows uh, Catch in the knee and goes, uh, uh, Catch, Catch, but he says he wants to go home, but where is his home? Where is your home, Mr. Bones? I was getting there, little one. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, sometimes this I get ahead of myself. And then you see that certain point, I just start to... <laughs> Is it hot? I'm sorry, I, I just can't turn it <laughs> I off. know, you are excited. <laughs> Move aside. Uh, this is a fair question, my lady, which uh, I'd be glad to answer uh, as soon as I learn the answer. Uh, meaning that I'm mostly sure I know where I need to go, but I need to trust my sword guiding me. Mm. That's it. That is the only source of knowledge I, I retain. Ooh, I've never seen one of those. And uh, she comes around and uh, tries to get uh, the, the sword uh, like uh, with both palms of her hand on the sword. This is so old, but you really used to fight with this. I, I think I am concerned if I see what I perceive as a, as a child getting their hands on the sword, on the sword. Mostly, not because I, I'm afraid they're going to break it, but just because I think it's, to me, that's a, um, that's a tool of death, right? And I wouldn't want them, wouldn't want the, the girl to get her, so I try to, I warn her in a sense, I don't know if I can move 
myself. No, but I, I, I think you can. I think yeah. right now you are no, okay. fully yourself. Although, although my hey, but there were two experts putting you together, okay? <laughs> you are perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, I tried to at Warner the um, uh, sweet child. Uh, uh, please don't hurt yourself. That's that's a uh, that's an instrument of that you're holding, oh. and uh, I really wish you never um, experienced the need for uh, holding one of those. Uh, please okay. give it back so that I can keep yeah, it safe yeah, yeah. from of course, hurting of course, anyone. Of course. He is very serious. But, but I, I mean, this is really unusual to see. I, I haven't seen one of these in, in, in centuries, I think. I've never seen one, and I've been around a bit. Yeah, I've been around a little bit more, and I saw them, but it was really a long time ago that it's... I haven't seen one since... Well, must have been at least 200. Well, okay, I don't know how you count it, but it was a long time ago. Uh, I have a question Where... for both Heat and Bones. How does your voice sound? I was thinking about that. My voice sounds something very deep and crackling and really like... Like when like you, if you are... try to modulate uh, yeah. a, a flame, a, f a fire. I, is it possible to change accordingly to how you feel? Yes, definitely. Like, uh, that the can same be a way that... fire, it can yes, be like the same way that I look different uh, depending on how I feel or I want to do. I mean, if I'm calm, I look like a normal humanoid, but then it could be, you know, with flames coming around. And now it's just probably um, if I'm. Like speaking a, normally, a it's just... the bonfire. Just, yes, uh, something warm. like that, yes, yes. And what about bones instead? <clears throat> I think that the armor itself allows my voice to get deep. Oh, am I, am I mute? No, 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 no. Well, well, well. Okay. No. I think the armor itself allows my voice to be deep because it acts as a, as a resonance chamber. Oh, probably yes. without the armor, I would be like, probably this kind of voice. <laughs> but do we actually see makes the book, it, or it are you always with with helm and? No, I don't think I have a helm. I think so I am bareheaded. Okay, okay, so we, we see think bareheaded is the word. Okay, so we, we, we see the skull and the head. I think so. Okay. I I don't have anything against covering my head. I just happen to be. <laughs> you never found your helm when you probably, yes. probably haven't. I don't. That's remember probably. That's probably why when you were alive, you were killed because you went into battle without a helmet. <laughs> that, that might be the question. I don't. I don't know. I'm touching my oh, head. Too. Well, maybe you, you were you, decapitated you, and yeah, maybe you to, maybe you used to be the the hero in a in a fantasy or a movie, and uh, you went into battle without uh, without no, a helmet that's... and you got uh, killed uh, because of it. I yeah. think I might have been such an individual uh, that would do things like since you don't have an helmet, I'm gonna. Take my own out so that we uh, okay. are fair, and then I die. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and the narrow arrive in that moment. That's so, right. Bones, you you have just a few minutes to uh, um, to basically. I, I don't want to say breathe in because you, you don't breathe, mm -hmm. but uh, to to understand where you are, where you are. The world has not changed too much since you were destroyed. It's mm -hmm. not been uh, centuries. It's just been probably a few months or maybe at most a few years. Uh, the, te the, the technology level is still the same. Life in this village, for whatever you can see at a glance, is uh, somewhat peaceful. The, the farmers are pretty tired and somewhat overworked because uh, they need to feed the, the big city. N not, not just this village, but this is one of the many villages that are uh, overworked because they need to feed uh, the, the army and the navy that is in the big city of Belizea. And, um, but for the rest, it, it, it looks uh, peaceful. It looks... Uh, um, Maybe there is not much uh, joy or enthusiasm, but there is there are uh, small moments of comfort because uh, they know each other, they understand their place in the, in the world, they have a few weird friends to make the, their life a little bit uh, more interesting. This is what you can gather at a glance. But you have just a moment, just a moment to understand this, and uh, a trumpet, 
uh, mm-hmm. gets the attention of, uh, of everyone. Uh, Lelia uh, lo- looks at Catch and says, hide, hide, it's the army, and uh, goes out in the, um, in the town square. Wow. You can hear uh, a, a, rit- a, 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 a rhythmic uh, a set of footsteps that were walking formation. There is not that many. It's uh, less than 10 people, but very precise. Uh, that they're very, very rhythm, and they stop in the town square, and the trumpet makes another, uh, another sound. So we, we are in the forge, right? Yes, you are in the forge, which okay. is uh, a, no. being one of the most important uh, uh, buildings. Uh, it's uh, somewhat near the square. Yeah. So what I do is uh, I look at both and say, "Now you have to listen to me and trust me for a minute." Uh, I take him. I put him like uh, in a corner and mm-hmm. uh, I move it in the way that looks like pieces of armor just put there like this <laughs> and then I find uh, an helmet <laughs> around <laughs> put it on his face and, Makes sense. now be silent uh, he thinks I imagine that he's already in the, in the forge so <laughs> everybody can see me yeah? and uh, I go out from the back door and there is a small p- place there a small garden and uh, I just go like, and I become a rock. Yes, that's fine. You basically uh, hit and catch are doing whatever you usually do to hide whenever the army comes into town. Uh, however, this time you can see that there is not, it's not like a, a, the usual platoon that comes around hunting for monsters. This is uh, basically just a very small guard that is... Um, basically uh, acting as the, uh, the the guard of a herald. Mm. Uh, you see, uh, can you see when you turn into a boulder? I was thinking that uh, uh, to be able to understand what's outside, uh, I have to rely on the critters. I was thinking that it's this relationship. Okay, okay, okay. So, bones... You can not really see that much outside of the mm-hmm. window because you are leaning and you have a weird helmet covering mm-hmm. one of your... Uh, uh, it's not really an eye. It's a, cav- no. uh, uh, a hole in your skull. Uh, whereas the one that has probably the most... Uh, um, uh, that, can, that they can see the distribution the best is a heat because uh, fire is very easy to hide. You can uh, get uh, get a few sparks out of the chimney to see from, uh, from yeah, the was what I was view thinking. or something like that. You can set fire to the old forge. As you can see, probably. <laughs> if you want to, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to. <laughs> so, uh, those of yeah, you but, that can uh, but see. But I want to I yes, see. Sir. I, I, okay. I'm very interested if, uh, if I see the moving is not the same uh, sound and stuff. Okay, so uh, in at the end, whenever you want to know something or perceive something, it's not really a test. Basically, what I do, I look at, at your character sheet uh, and uh, I see if there are some um, traits that justifies you knowing or perceiving this. And uh, uh, I can see from uh, your... Uh, your character, uh, your character sheet that you are uh, a house for critters. So you describe this as uh, as your uh, your messengers and your eyes and your ears. So I can uh, I would say that you have a very uh, simple idea of uh, of whatever, but yeah, it's enough like to understand that. Uh, uh, this is not the usual platoon. They're not hunting, they're not uh, doing a search of the whole town looking for hidden, uh, for uh, hiding places. Good. So, yeah, uh, I imagine that like a squirrel doesn't understand uh, a uniform compared to the other one, but uh, it can feel like uh, the other time where they were hunting I, because I'm one with nature as well. I think that they can feel my state of mind. Yes. My, my, my fear and stuff. So, uh, like, uh, the, yes. the, just, uh, so, uh, w- so, since you don't want to be a boulder, what are you doing right now? Because you want to understand, or, or you are, ju- are, you, are you just relying on the critters? I just rely on the critters now. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So, heat and bones 
you can hear this perfectly. Heat, you can also see somewhat. Catch, you decide how much the critters can can uh, can, can say to you. Uh, the best looking one, the one that is clearly the herald, uh, uh, takes the trumpet uh, uh, down and <clears throat> uh, let it be known by the order of Admiral de Rigo, Duke of Palentos, on behalf of Her Highness Violante, enlightened Empress of Etruvia. Every third reserve from the levy of the year 28 is hereby ordered to report to the Imperial Navy High Command in Belizea by noon tomorrow. It is with pride that the Admiral will lead these recruits together with some of the best men and women of the Imperial Navy in a most glorious mission on board of the newly launched Jewel of the Seas, the inevitable, in the long distant colony of Nova Ceradonia. Here you can find affixed the names of our brave new sailors, and one of the guards nails a piece of paper in on the, on the on the board there are on the town square. The, um, uh, the, the families look a bit worried. Uh, some goes as if for asking questions, but the the scowl on the on on the on the faces of, of the soldiers uh, make them uh, stand aside. Uh, some farmers are actually uh, excited. Uh, it is uh, a new mission uh, for for some in this highly militaristic empire is a, is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for their children to become someone, to become an, maybe an officer, to earn a medal, or maybe a commendation from uh, uh, a nobleman. And uh, the small uh, troop of, um, of soldiers uh, goes uh, and, ta and takes the, the, the street, the, um, the road for the next village. Has this, this ever month? happened before? Okay, um, how long have you been in this village? In this, uh, um, okay, I think you've, you've not been here for long because you usually cannot stay for long in a single village, am I right? Depends how often the raids are and how often, yes. Let's say that... Uh, I would say it, months, it, months at least, maybe a couple of years. Months no? at least, okay, probably you've seen it in other villages. Mm -hmm. The Empire has a standing army, but it also has a lot of reserves that uh, do maybe one year of training and then go back home to be farmers, and they are called upon just when there is a war or a major event. This uh, does not... The, the, no war has been mentioned, but it, what has been mentioned is this, this launching of this new warship. Mm -hmm. Do I know about other empires or kingdoms or? Yes, of course. There are many king, many empires. The, the Etruvian Empire is usually at war with one of the other, mm -hmm. but usually there are uh, war on lands and very distant from Belizea. Belizea is actually one of the crossroads of the empire because it is uh, on the um, on the borders of the nation of Etruvia. And stands uh, basically, it's a front for the sea that hosts the many isles that uh, have colonies on them. Mm -hmm. protection, it's protection, protection from the islands. Yeah, if you if you want to to go to to the Etruvian colonies, you need to sail from uh, from Belizea usually, and uh, most of the arm the, the navy. Is uh, is hosted here. This is the navy headquarter, basically. Mm -hmm. So, but this is nothing particularly it's, unusual. No, uh, it's not very unusual. Uh, it's not something. It it happens uh, every few years. Uh, mm -hmm. It happens. It's it's a levy. It's a forced levy by an empress that is a, a, a monarch without a parliament, without any kind of uh, constitution. Absolutely. Just uh, it's an absolute monarch. So uh, the the moment is uh, is a bit heavy. Some are uh, are happy. Some are a bit sad. You can see uh, you hit 
that you are one of the few that can see, see the face of uh, uh, Lelia being very, very pale. She has her finger pointing at uh, one of the names in the in the list that the herald nailed to the boards, uh, to the wooden boards. She looks around. There is a, a friend of the family there and goes, but they cannot ask both for me and Lucio. Father, father, father will not be able to. Father, how will father get, get oh, in the fields that both of us, it's, it's not possible. Oh, I forgot everything. So the guards are gone now. Yeah, the guards are uh, slowly walking towards mm -hmm. the next village. Okay, I wait for them to be at a safe distance and then I yeah. get out of the forge and I assume a humanoid form and then I, I get outside and actually I, I go to have a look at, at this list. Yes, there are. there is uh, like a few names. Actually, I also take bones after, out of the corner. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> bones, bones. I, you, I, get I will... out, you, you get out in the, in the town. I think I. It's risky, but I, th I think I keep the I keep the helmet. I, I think I've oh. not been in in um, close to people without any negative reaction in a long time. So I think I know that uh, I'd better avoid. I tell you, being I tell you to keep to keep to cover your. Uh, but by the way, uh, speaking of a uh, human form. Do I have to imagine heat as some, I don't know, the human torch or a proper uh, cover? I, I mean, do you appear as a human or it's just a, a human form of a fiery creature in this moment? A humanoid flame. Okay, wow. So when, so just a silhouette, basically. Yes, maybe. I mean, no, there are some, you features. know, some yeah, there was very, very vague features. Um, there, there, there is a mouth that moves, but it's more human torch there than sure. fire humanoid. Thank you. I, just, just so you know, knowing okay, what yes. I need to... And uh, Yes, go. And hot. Well, warm <laughs> at least. I cannot control that, I'm sorry. It's, <laughs> there is always some warmth. So I, yeah, I suggest you keep your... I think it's wise. Head covered and all Noble creature. Bones. Yes, at least for for a while. I mean, people here can get scared. So uh, I get outside. Hit, hit uh, and, uh, and bo yes, bones. No, I just want to say that uh, I think it's uh, fair to comment from my side that uh, they probably should be more scared of if I got what's happened. I, mean, I, I think I heard right what they were uh, uh, announcing before. No, yes, uh, sorry. But this I, I don't quite understand what you're asking. I they mean, should... did, did, did I hear the... Yes, the, uh, he, he, you heard the pretty much everything. Sure. So my comment would be to hear that uh, not only they could probably be right in being afraid of me, but they should probably be even more afraid of what's happening here. Because being... Uh, for, I, I don't know anything about not uh, a war being or not being... Here, I just know they've been called to arms, right? They've been drawn to the to the to the military, yes, the, and from the, my perspective, yes. that's the thing they should be they should be scared of. Because I, I okay, think that's so, a terrible so, thing. So you do not still have the the warrior spirit of the I do age have where I war do have war it. is glory and. No, I do have it for myself because I am a warrior. I'm not a I'm not a farmer. I'm not a rando being pulled from their house. Okay. I think that's where my my misfortune started, and that's why I'm sensitive about it. That I, I think am. the world is divided between warriors and people who should and be left alone. That's my civilians. Okay. That's right. Okay. So uh, heat uh, on on the on the um, uh, on the list. Uh, you can see a few names. Uh, uh this is a small town uh, there is basically a hundred people and there are just uh, uh five names on the list but what is uh, uh discomforting for you is that uh, both uh, lucio leon and lelia leon are on the list 
Uh, they are both uh, basically, they just uh, came back from their levy last year where they worked as a, a cabin boy and a cabin girl on a, on a frigate. And uh, now they are being called back into the Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, their father, in their uh, year of absence during training, uh, struggled to uh, to plow the fields and uh, and to produce as much uh, uh, wheat as it's uh, asked asked of of his family, and uh, losing both of them would be bad. Uh, sorry, you mentioned the other kids are small, right? I'm sorry. The other kids, yes, the other young. kids are are preteens. They can help, but they are, they don't have the strength to work mm -hmm. extensive hours under the sun. Um, the it, it is also quite bad that uh, two 16 year old kids are getting drafted into uh, the navy. <laughs> basically, mm -hmm. uh, I mean it, it's it's something that happens in this world. I mean, uh, the, uh, at, the, at 16, you are old enough to serve in the army, but um, it's still a bit... Uh, for, for you, probably not, because you are alive ever... Uh, you, you've been alive for so many centuries that for you, people... You, humans uh, fought at 14, at 12. Uh, you basically don't even conceive understand them as being of different ages mm -hmm. but yes uh, you can see that the people around you are a bit uh, disconcerted mm -hmm. in time you can also hear both you and bones uh, that some people are uh, are whispering well maybe we should give them uh, we should we should give give the army them then then our kids will be safe then our kids will be will be will be safe no don't say that don't say that they are around and the kids uh they, they will like it in the navy they will become someone maybe they will come back with with uh with a badge and uh, being an officer they, it's a good career it's better than plowing the fields every day it's better to become strong uh, on a ship uh, you learn how to use the cannons it's fine the, the, the monsters help around, and then if they find out that we hide them for so long, you never know. Give them the kids. <laughs> I turn around. I don't say anything. I, I just there's an uncontrolled flame, two couple of flame bursting from my eyes very shortly. When I, when I look at this guy, but I don't, I don't see a word. What? I, I was, I was defending you, and he's no, no, the other guy, no, not that. He, he, he runs <laughs> away. He runs away in uh, yeah. in a house. Mm. Uh, okay, the the soldiers are gone now. There, there is no, they are not in sight anymore. Uh, catch! I don't know how much you got of that uh, from from your critters, but you uh, know that they, the soldiers are gone. They just explained the movement that they did. So I know that they came in, they left a message, and they left. That's okay. okay. <laughs> That's all I know. Uh, I wait. Uh, oh, I go looking for uh, catch, actually. After they're gone, I go. Yeah, I, I, but I wait for somebody to come and call me yes. because uh, then I will move in the middle of the square if I have to see what <laughs> happened. And it's better not to. Yeah. So let, uh, let's you, go you, catch, you, catch. You touch it. Uh, you see, like a massive uh, ant that comes up. Like, I try to grow this one for years. Do not burn it. Thought it was a rock. <laughs> no. You see this? Mm -hmm. It's very rare. And I, and I point us like some mosque that I have on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this weird medicinal herb that only grows yeah. in very specific condition. And, and then and then I stand up and I, oh, it gets more and more difficult to come back from Boulder State. Yeah. And you can hear like a crunch and cracks on my stones, putting them together. So and you're myself in real life. <laughs> no, no, that's me. Okay. <laughs> and and and, uh, and I look at the two of you. Uh, so, 
What happened? Well, they came and they they asking they're asking for people to go to the navy to join the navy, and they're asking for both. Um, I've got Lucio Lu and Lucio and Lelia. Lelia. Lelia to go again. Uh, just a second, guys. Bones, you were in the town square in sight of the of the paper uh, on the wooden boards. Mm. Uh, I think I follow heat, so uh, yeah. I don't know that I need to go and read the name since I don't know anyone here by name. Okay. I think I got the general principle. Uh, but you do notice something. The when when uh, by reading the, the this message, the um, the herald named Nova Seradonia. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the on the message there is uh, the the flag for one of the colonies that is right now in Nova Seradonia. Okay. And uh, integrated into the flag of this colony is your family crest. Oh. That is also etched on a small piece of your armor that is still sure. That it was still held together, yeah, or maybe, or maybe even in the hilt of the sword. Uh, you have a flash of memory. Wow! And okay. You know that uh, your home used to be in this distant lands. <clears throat> okay. Uh, probably it's been long forgotten because this is just uh, right now. You can understand that this is just a symbol that mm -hmm. for the people that founded the colony represents what they found in this uh, in these lands when they arrived sure M maybe the civilization where uh, you were born is long gone maybe it was conquered by the etruvian empire in the following centuries you don't really know that but you know that your home is there oh sure okay this is really interesting for me and um, i really hope it's not a problem that i spot that symbol in my in my uh, on my on my arm or my on my sword, but I I'm definitely drawn by by this. Anything that's cats, I might owe you more than repairing myself and my armor. Oh, I didn't. I think to myself, I just carried you. He did the job. Okay, I think I owe both of you. And may, may I ask, what is what? that symbol? And I think I I point to the to the flag that I was just explaining what it is, but I, my, I mean, Bones yeah, doesn't yeah, know, yeah. right? Yes, yes. And I think they explain it to you. Sure. I think I, I believe I have the answer for our young friend. I think that's where I need to go. Mm, well, your name is not on the list. No, but my... And I, I, I wish I could, like... I don't know. <laughs> yes. this, is, this is my this is my uh, my relentlessly slow. I'm not slow only in talking. Oh, sure. I'm not this slow. So, you know. <laughs> but my you know my my family symbol is there. What I believe it's my family symbol. My my armor. You see, and I I show you the I, but uh, oh, no breast you piece go? or something. How can you go in a place so far? Now that is the interesting question. Then hmm. we should, uh, I should find the answer for. Uh, I I take the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you you take it off the the board. Huh? Yeah, and I get it very close to me because I want to read it properly. Everything that is written on it, because okay. I take a while to to understand the situation. So okay. I'm very meticulous in that. <laughs> by the way, I, I'm not even sure I can read the names, by the way. I don't even know if that's my language. Yeah, you see, you see the crest, probably. Pro I probably can, but the symbol is enough for me. So I trust you that my name is not there, but... Yes, you have an, an instinctive uh, understanding mm -hmm. of the, what this symbol means to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, catch, you can actually read very slowly and speaking out loud, but you can actually read. <laughs> yeah, pointing I exactly what I read. <laughs> but but the problem is that the finger is so big that I cover most of the word. <laughs> with, with mud. 
And uh, actually, a few people, a few humans, uh, that uh, the ones that are most comfort comfortable staying uh, near the monsters uh, are getting around. They mostly stay around catch because staying around heat in the sun, it's a bit sweaty, it gets a bit warm. <laughs> It's already a late spring, so well, maybe... I, I, I cast a big shadow, so it's good to stay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where I, stay. Right. I mean, don't go, don't go every, in the winter. Every, everyone loves heat in the winter, but now maybe not, not so much. And uh, between you catch reading it out loud and some of the more educated people in the village reading it with yourself, you know, you see that the, this message is quite longer than what the, um, the messenger just proclaimed to all, to all the town. And you are able to gather from the message and from uh, little bits of information that the other people in the village tell you that the mission is quite... Uh, it, it's not really a war mission. Uh, there is this uh, this merchant that usually is one that uh, leads the uh, that uh, takes the, uh, whatever few um, rare items and uh, specialty items are needed in the village. Goes to the town, he buys them and brings them back into the town. That says, "Oh, oh, I've heard about the inevitable. It's a true marvel of technology. It's a this large, large warship, uh, steam powered, and not only that, not only that." And he looks at it. Uh, uh, he basically hides behind catch to not be near heat not only <laughs> that i hear i hear they have uh, some like him but not like him like water and and earth and they use it to um to reclaim swamps to drain rivers and to make the land so much better for agriculture uh, that they use it to 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 to, to grow fields of wheat where before it was just a swamp by the that the fire the sound of the fire becomes louder and louder what what no 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 there is no no flame no, no, there is, my, no, there is no, no flame friend, in the boiler friend i will stop to talk about uh, things like him in front of him. He's a bit uh, oh, fiery sometimes. Oh, oh, oh. You oh, see, oh, oh, sure, but, but you don't okay. understand. It doesn't but, make a difference. Is it fire? Is it water? Is it air? And when you try to manipulate these forces just to, you know, to control the nature, something is going to fire back at you. Okay. And then um, and then I turn and then I turn toward bones and I point uh, to the paper and said maybe we found something that can bring you there. And I'm pointing mm. I, at the at the name inevitable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because say how we got there, I found some something that can bring us there. Maybe, yeah. maybe. By chance, you're not the same size as Luke, you are you? I'm I'm sorry? By no, chance, you're not, not, not the same size as Luke. No, no, <laughs> no, I'm not the same size as Luke. No, no, but bones. You can just say, okay, this is this is both Luke. <laughs> this is Luke. Yeah. In full plate. Oh, yeah. ready to fight. It's, been, I went an hour, it it's been an hour and we haven't made a test yet. So maybe if you want to start, uh, uh, it's the first <laughs> test of the of the of this adventure is uh, m uh, the deceiving the army into accepting a skeleton instead of a boy. <laughs> I don't think that it's gonna work. Something tells me that there are more uh, catches. Than... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound like anyone... something I would excel in. Does anybody know where this? Um, this ship is the, the ship is for sure in Belizea. I mean, sure. uh, the, the, the navy headquarters in, is in the city, and uh, basically every everything navy related uh, should be there in Belizea. Yes. So, mm. I mean, going undercover, it's probably going to be difficult. However, I could easily sneak into, I don't know. There's gonna be cargo, right? Of some sorts. My dear friend, 
Mm-hmm. Can I call you friend? I'd and be honored you... to be called you, your friend. Do you need to breathe? I, I, I no. I decided to stop breathing a little while ago, so I do not need to breathe. Then you can just stuck yourself under the boat. Yeah, that that could actually work, you know. Well, then someone should journey. probably have a good journey and I turn around <laughs> and I go to the forest because it's... <laughs> I want to see how That's my that. creatures are because I spend all the morning with them. Yes. <laughs> and slowly, slowly, boom, boom. And because I'm there in the middle of the town, I don't like to be there. It's so exposed. Yeah. Sure. The truth. yeah. Hit. So as uh, as catch goes back into into the forest, uh, bones uh, uh, ponders on this plan of uh, hiding behind a ship, mm-hmm. and the heat tries to calm itself down and not burn the poor guy who was just being very patriotic. We close this uh, first episode of Not the Monsters, a Not the End campaign. <laughs> and without uh, uh, without uh, an extraction from one. the bag, <laughs> we didn't even yeah, yeah, the first it. one, the first one is always introduction. Come that on, guys, sure. fair enough. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty simple. So, uh, guys, uh, we hope that uh, the setting interests you, and uh, we hope that uh, we we will be able to show you the the system in the in the next well, i mean we will show you the system in the next uh, episodes uh, we hope uh, our uh, our cast of uh, colorful monsters uh, is uh, uh, interesting for you to come back and listen to the next episodes uh, we will we will hopefully see you guys next time i'm fabio i'm marco ah, I'm arturo you. <laughs> okay, I knew, I knew it. That we were gonna yes, all love with each other. And, <laughs> and we'll see, and, and we'll see everybody next time. Bye. Bye.